I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Tuesday, June 1st, the, first, the reading is from 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10. When I came to you, brethren, I did not come proclaim to you the testimony of God in lofty words or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in much fear and trembling. And my speech and my message were not in implausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and power that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Yet among the mature we do impart wisdom, although it is not wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away. But we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages for our glorification. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him, God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything from the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. God's wisdom. When I was little, a family friend was lovingly referred to as Chan Sam the Junkyard Man. On his property, vast quantities of machine parts filled a long domed shed. When Dad needed an obscure part, I'd tag along to Sam's to search. Invariably, I too came away with some treasure. Often that treasure was a bit of wisdom learned, like when Sam taught me how to estimate, quite accurately I would add, how much daylight remains. Sam showed me how to hold my hand flat out as far as I could, palm facing me, with my forefinger just under the edge of the sun. Each digit is a quarter hour of sunlight remaining. Since I had much smaller hands than Sam's thick mitts, I've always kept just a little space between the fingers. I've used this wisdom on countless occasions in my life, which is more than I've used some things I learned in school. It got me home safely before dark and kept me out of trouble. How Sam taught was probably how faith is best spread, simply and quietly. Our prayer. Jesus, help me to spread the wisdom of faith in simple words and gentle deeds. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.